I am so excited and blessed today to be with three amazing queens. And we are going to start with introductions and we're gonna start with Dr. Maxine Mims. Would you share a little bit about who you are? Well, I really basically don't know who I am, thank goodness. Uh, as an elder, I need to be able to have that flexibility and it, allow my imagination to create on a daily basis. But on today, who I am is uh, a person that's very happy to be here and very honored to have been asked. Oh, we, we adore you. They asked me to do this in the order of um, seniority. So I'm going to hey. the beautiful age. Thank you very much. So I'm going to the beautiful Dr. Joy Hardiman. How are you? <laughs> I am perfectly fine. And in keeping in the thread of Maxine's rhythm, who I am today is the uh, uh, former executive director of the Evergreen State College Tacoma campus. I was the executive director for over 20 years and it is a, uh, and um, it warms my heart to have been able to participate in such a marvelous uh, um, movement uh, that was in fact started by Dr. Maxine Mims um, in her brilliance as part of her doctoral work uh, into what were the best educational um, models and pedagogies for urban black adults. And so uh, I, I, she was the founder and I was lucky enough to be the heir apparent. And so I did that work for 20 years. I'm currently the uh, founder of, the, of Hardeman House. And Hardeman House is an urban sanctuary that is the home of ancestral artworks. And ancestral artworks is a creative production institute that uses ancient wisdoms to solve contemporary situations and encourages people to raw image their life and, not, and, and to be verbs and not nouns. And I am the author of the Resurrection of truth from the chains of falsehood. That is my definition as of today. As of today, y'all, we are so honored to have each of you. Each of you are just a tr national treasure trove of amazingness. So I am just so thrilled. Thank you for that, Dr. Joy. <laughs> Dr. Arunga, how are you? I'm well, Tracy. Thank you for having me. It is definitely, uh, I am so junior to these amazing <laughs> uh icons here you know dr mims who is the founder of evergreen state college tacoma and her successor dr hardeman both of who have have been my mentors uh for quite a long time but dr hardeman picked me up one day at the university of washington campus and we began a dialogue that has not ended uh, and so I am so honored to say that today I am the Dean of Evergreen State College Tacoma, and I am uh, really just continuing the legacy of Dr. Mims and Dr. Hardiman, uh, trying to really celebrate the idea that this is uh, a, a, a historically um, community-driven institution that was meant for the urban black student and to really carry that out so that uh, black and brown people know they have a, a, a beacon in the hilltop of Tacoma where they can be educated and receive their BA degrees and some really important life direction. So I'm, I'm very honored uh, for that. But in my normal life um, for several decades now, I will say that I have been a cultural custodian. And that begins with my uh, time as a student activist and a theater person. When I became uh, on the stage, a lot of my work was done in terms of um, uh, using the stage as a message for the community to understand our history, understand our culture, and so I have uh, been doing that for, for some time now. And I am so honored to really bring all of that together at Evergreen. My art artistry as a designer, as a stage person, um, all come together now at Evergreen. And um, it's, a, it's a place of belonging 
for black and brown adult learners who um, have for so long been marginalized in, in our communities in this country. And so this is really a, a empowering place to be where I can um, in, invite students to come here and be a part of this important educational institution. I love that so much. I love everything about each of you. It is it is truly my honor to, to be leading this conversation. And just to be clear, this is a conversation. Imagine us sitting around, if we could be together, we're sipping on some tea and we're having a conversation. Y'all look amazing, by the way. So we're bringing this, this to the inaugural Juneteenth Royal Ball. And I said, can we get dolled up? And I realized y'all look dolled up every day. <laughs> you ladies look beautiful all the time. This is your regular beauty. 